Um, I have somebody on the line that uh, this is a first uh, in Gen Con, okay? And I'm going to put put this person on on speakerphone in a, in a minute and hold the mic up. And uh, this is absolutely a first. Uh, uh, 2019 will be the first Gen Con that ever had all of the holograms and all. Hold on, I got to put you on. All, all right, 2019. This is Gen Con 2019, and it's a first, folks, because this is the first Gem Con that has had all of the holograms and all of the misfits together at a Gem Con. We're not here together at the same time, but different times, and I have on the line Miss Diva Gray. Hi, Diva. Hey, guys. Yeah. So, so Diva said to me, and maybe you know this one. She said, she said she didn't know. She said, "What character was I? Was I Kimberly?" <laughs> Kimberly. It doesn't. I just came in singing. Yes. <laughs> Does anybody know oh, what character if there, she was a particular she girl? She was on the background of the Stingers, Rapture. Yes. Rapture. Rapture and Mink. Rapture and Mink. You were the background of the Stingers. Yeah, not not Mink. 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 And and you were uh, and Diva was in the holograms and in the Misfits. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. I was kind of psychiatric, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would flip back and forth. Because the music was so good on either side. Ellen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, my mother told me to spit out my gum. <laughs> <laughs> And I think I remember this too, that we were the, you know, I talked to Florence earlier today. And, uh, and so the three of us, we were the holograms, which, so we were the good girls, but then we had to flip over to the misfits and be the bad girls. And Anne, Anne reminded me, I think you came up with the idea that when, when we would do, ooh, you know, in the holograms, that when we were the misfits, we'd do, ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you remember that, Diva? Yeah. <laughs> we had a misfit. We couldn't even say our name without an end. Yeah. And you are a great misfit. You had that sound, girl. Oh, thank you, Diva. You are a bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we're the misfits. Yeah, we're it. Oh, totally. Um, uh, you want to? I love the misfits songs, you know. Oh, they were great. Yeah. Favorite. Yep. favorite. What? What's your? Do you remember a favorite song, either of Jen or the Misfits? Mm, no, to tell you the truth, <clears throat> my brain doesn't function the way it used to. Right, right. I don't remember a lot of stuff. Right. Um. Um. But I don't know if you know Diva. Diva. Oh, wait a minute. This is really funny. I, I do you know what I remember. What? Twilight in Paris. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, that was a great one. Um, good, good. good. And one. you know what? I met somebody a few years ago, grown woman with her own child, who was so unbelievably turned on by the fact that I, I had something to do with Jim. It was one of her favorite when she was growing up. You know, so that, that was great to bring that kind of joy to people, you know? Because it was a good show. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, and I just also, watch it sometimes on YouTube, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, Anne also reminded me that Diva was the, uh, she sang Behind the Stingers, right? Yeah. And she did a lot of the soulful, you know, riffs and everything oh, behind the stingers. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. I was the soulful singer. Yes. Yeah. 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 That was me. Yeah. Do any of oh, you oh. remember? <laughs> okay. Do any of you remember who sang Starlight? Does oh, anybody okay. remember who sang Starlight? No, I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Here we go. Angela Capelli. Um, Angela, oh, Angela Capelli. She was, yeah, okay. Angela. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Angela actually came to me. Yeah. No, was it me? Yeah. No. Did Angela come to Maine? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Now, Diva, Diva has a long history in, as a, and, you know, she did incredible studio work. You want to talk a little Do bit about that? you remember the group Chic? She yes. 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 Go ahead. Well, if you, if you heard, ah, uh, free cam. Yeah. You heard me. That's Diva. Yeah. 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 And clams on the half shell. Roller skate. Roller skate. <laughs> I want your love. I want your yes. love. Yes. Yes. So I uh, want your love. And actually, people didn't know that she was the background group for Sister Strange. Sister Strange didn't sing their background vocals. We did. Sister so you hear We Are Family, you're yeah. hearing Sheik. Oh. 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 The oh. truth oh. comes oh. out. <laughs> And people eternally mess up those words. I don't know why. <laughs> really, it's so it's it's called Oh What Wow. He's the greatest dancer, and people were singing I wonder why. <laughs> it was actually written on karaoke charts. You know, I wonder why. And I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> you know? Memory came back fast. But yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. It's good. A lot of that stuff. I was, a, I was actually going into the disco hall of fame. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and Diva and I actually had a, a disco record at the same out at the same time. Oh wow! Uh huh. And it, I I sang the disco version of Memory, and so did Diva. She oh, wow. sang it. Uh, who who was the the famous uh, producer who did um, the um, Jacques Morali. Yeah, Jacques Morali. He did. Yep, exactly. Jacques Morali. She did a version with the French record producer Jacques Morali, and I did a version on uh, Profile Records. Yeah, I exactly. Warren Shatz. Yeah. So, but they were sim released simultaneously. Oh, yeah. Wow. And also, Diva saying I had a band in the 80s called Ellen Bernfeld before I changed no I had Norma Human came before that Norma Human and the Body People and then I had a band called <laughs> Ellen Bernfeld and the Babushka Band and, and Diva sang there was one background singer and it was Diva and she didn't just do back, background she had a solo she she did this great operatic thing in uh, the beginning of the song called Cruel World um, what were you, what'd you say, yeah. Diva? Did you say something or? No, 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 I no. just remembered. Okay. <laughs> Somebody had a question. So, um, yeah. our, our landlord has told us that in the first floor of our apartment building in Hell's Kitchen, they recorded Freak Out. Okay. Uh, Somebody, no, she knows that. The, <laughs> she we're, okay. We have it. West 52nd Street. West 52nd, his landlord said that, that in the first, in, in an apartment there was where they recorded Freak Out. Is that correct? I think probably. Yeah, maybe. Oh. There was a studio there. Yeah. yeah, it's an apartment now, but it wasn't yes. a studio. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. And, no, that would have been um, Power Station. No, see, that was in Power Station. Uh, oh, no, wait a minute. Power, power Station was in Ch is in Chelsea. Oh, wow. So they uh, may have no, changed. No, no, it was 50 seconds. Yeah, 50 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Ask him if the name of the studio was the power station. Okay. 
Because that that was like it was in the fifties uh, on the on the west side. That's right. In, yeah. yeah, was it because the, we opened up that studio with it? Oh yeah, that yeah. studio was like hot. The Stones recall. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean. it was opened with the freak and uh, dance. Didn't and we? Dance. we, did, we opened it. Didn't we do, were you on that Nico session, The Wizard of Oz? Because that was done. Oh, I did all that. I did that, that with you at the power show. station it then. It might have been the hit factory. No, no, it was power station, I think. It was? Okay. Yeah. I don't remember because I was back and forth between the two. I had one of the funniest phone conversations once with Nino Sadaka, and I didn't believe it was Nino. I thought it was Gordon being funny. Gordon, you the know, word came up. Know, Gordon. Like yeah, I know my friend Gordon. He was also one of those on on um, on uh, Jeff. Yes, he was um, riot. Right, yes. right, right. So we um, so I always thought he was playing a joke, and you know, Sadaka and I like said, "Hi, this is Neil you know, Sadaka," and I was like, "Uh huh." <laughs> <laughs> so I, think I was in the middle of selling when I was selling, and I was like obsessed, you know. Right. So I was like, I wanted to get off my phone. What's the point? <laughs> and he says, I would like to come to New York to record, and I want you to know which studio you would prefer, a power station or his factory. And I was like, I said, well, and, you know, and I'm still thinking, like, yeah, yeah. I said, I, I, I would prefer the power stations, you know, favorite stations, you know. And he says, okay. You know, when I come here, I'll let you know. I'm like, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, good, you know. And it turned out it really was Neil Sadaka. <laughs> she, she thought Gordon was impersonating Neil Sadaka on the phone because she didn't believe that Neil Sadaka called her to ask what studio she wanted to record in. Wow. That's wild. So have you talked to Gordon? No, not in a while. No, and I, I've yeah. tried to contact him. Yeah. yeah, I've tried to contact him to, you know, just do a phone conversation or something, but nada. Yeah, right. He didn't get back to me, so that's, you know. No, we had a little, we had a little disagreement. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. It was more than I felt like I needed to handle, so I just didn't, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all right. So any yeah. other any other questions or oh, here we go? Any chance we could get her to come to a well, Comic Con? Oh, yeah. What? We have a question. Well, maybe if it's out in any chance that you could come to a Gem Con, but maybe if it's out in closer California, to, yeah. yeah, closer to her. Yeah. You're in. You're yeah. in. Uh, you're in. Um, if I had been in a better situation, I'd have come to New York. Yeah. You know, either I'll come to New York next time, or you guys will come to Cali. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, you're a part of you, you see? Yeah, Cali is the place to come, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you want to get in the pool, the beach, I mean, this is the place, you know? Yeah. The yeah. last time I was in New York was in December of 2017, and um, I got pneumonia. Right. Because the weather, the weather was, in, I came from my, my granddaughter's birth, and I wound up, I mean, I was in below six. I mean, you know, six yeah. below zero. And I lived in California, my blood could take it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I you, always say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stay in California. And you're in, where Where are you again? You're in. Uh, I'm in Huntington. Huntington Beach. I'm okay. south. So that's the L.A. type area. So that's. No, that's, that's, that's southern. That's south, south of L.A. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in the room, baby. I'm, I'm where they did all the beach bum records and all the movies. <laughs> what? I'm in the beach. Okay. What's the big city near you? What's Or what's like a... Yeah, no. Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. Beach is. Okay, great. Yeah, that's yeah. where they do all the... Um, Maybe you should go to Huntington Beach. Surfing. They have all the surfing. <laughs> right. And you know, the surfing things are there. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know? Uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, they had a great school for Dorian. Oh, good. That's the only reason why I wound up Ah, oh, It was because of that, like, in that good school for Dorian. Good. And now, you know, and here I'm, not clo I'm, I'm close to just about everything. I'm going to San Diego. It's not far. San Diego's not far. Cool. cool. You know, well, you know, train-wise, you know. Right, like, right. You know, and if I want to LA, I can do that, too. Yeah. Well, I was... Another another question. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, Diva, how did you become part of Gem? 
Diva, how did you become part of Jim? Anne. Anne. Yeah. Anne Bryant. Anne calls, I go. <laughs> right. For, for anything, any private she has. Right. She said, Diva, I think you, uh, here I am. Mm -hmm. it would be no, I love, I just loved her approach to music in general, you know, so it's like easy. Because mm -hmm. you can work for some demon, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but not, you, not divas like you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People like Anne were, it was a pleasure. Yes. It's nice to work with people who know what they're doing, you know. That's right. <laughs> Oh, always helps. Oh, yeah. She's such a good musician. Yes. You know, so I enjoy it always. Yeah. There's always a fun session, wasn't it? Oh, it was so great. We had such a great time. We just always just did. a great, great time. We really did. I and mean, we can't tell you about all of them. Yeah, so this is a historic. Uh, we have just made GemCon history here, Diva. <laughs> and, uh,. Yeah, and, and the next time we got to get us either all together or all on the phone, t all together on the phone at the same time, Florence and you and me, that would be great. Well, physically, well, we're physically all together at one of the gym cards. Yeah. 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 yeah, that would be, that, that'll be a reunion. Yeah. Right. Okay, it's, only, it's, only a, it's a weekend, I'm okay. Yes, yes. it's a weekend, that's when they do it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Just so good. Anybody have any any final questions or anything to wrap up, or you want to say tell Diva how much you love her or whatever? We love you. Thank you, thank you, guys. Not to deal with a whole bunch of that right now. Thank oh. you. Oh. All right. Thank you so much, Diva. All right, see you at see you at GemCon, Diva. <laughs> All right, you be well. I will. Bye. 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 Now Damon hasn't approved this, but he's not in the room, so I'm just going to suggest we are actually ahead of schedule now. <laughs> all our guests here so would you mind if we just did a short panel as long as you're all here if anybody has any questions I'll get you set up as best I can next so any questions for the panel I think I answered that earlier earlier through Sh Shavana when I first heard about it. I mean, I knew it was a thing, but <laughs> I don't know. Like, well, because like, you know, like usually I think of conventions as like, oh, the one in New York, oh, the one in Boston, oh, the one in whatever, but like Gem Con, it's, it changes. So it's like, like every year it like comes back on my radar. I'm like, oh yeah, Gem Con, the one in Buffalo. <laughs> so I can't remember when I first heard about it. Um, I guess that's a terrible answer. <laughs> I, I have a question oh. for Ruth. We talked out there about it. Um, on the picture of Synergy that you have, yes. she has her mouth open. Yes. Why is that? You know what? I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> I was thinking of her singing. I might have been thinking of her singing. Oh, wow. And it might have been that whole pouty look started back then. It could have been something to do with that, but that's the best that I can remember. Wait, but what, what's what's weird about Synergy was her mouth open. It, I don't. We just she, 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 didn't, she didn't say it was just the, the image on the TV. I thought maybe she was talking or you know. She was probably was, yelling. Yeah. <laughs> Jerrica. I answered it for you. Yes. <laughs> well, Synergy was made in Mom's image. So. <laughs> 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 um, Ellen, yeah. thank you for bringing all your contacts to the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you connected with 
those ladies um, a lot over the years or just recently getting in touch? Like how, well, how Florence, close are you with Florence and Florence, Eva? I just, you know, like if I had known she was in Philadelphia when we crashed, uh -huh. um, I would have called her, but I didn't. So I just reconnected with Florence actually when I had the idea when, when um, Rachel asked me to come to this Gem Con. I thought, you know, that would that's that would be really fun. So I called, and then I found out she was in Philadelphia. Diva, I've talked to sporadically over the years more. So then, when I thought about the Florence, I said, let me call Diva, you know, and uh, and that's that. So this was really special. Awesome! Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Question for Ellen. Um, did you, I, and I'm sorry if you've talked about this in past panels, this is only my second Gem Con, so <laughs> catch up. Se second so far. So far. <laughs> second so far. That's right. Um, when you were approached to, and how, how were you approached to, hey, can you do vocals, lay down vocals for a kid's cartoon? Or did you know from the start that it would be, um, like what the plot structure was and right. who you'd be singing and did you know you would be singing from the start as pizzazz this the, the nemesis um uh i think ann may have touched on this a little bit earlier but it's hard to hear over the phone so when they first started the show they were looking for jim yeah but then they were also looking for the uh, pizzazz and i had a band at the time called Norma Human and the Body People. I just saw that on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so so um, we we had we were like it was me, my brother and Dave Immer and I was basically the writer and and you know um, and, and I was a lead I was the writer and singer and and they were kind of these uh, it was a it was a punk rock like techno band. Oh, nice. I like it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we had done a demo, and we were we almost had this record deal with Jimmy Einer, but I uh, with Millennium Records, I think yeah. it was, but it fell through. But I had this, you know, these demos that we made, and I played "Don't Ask Questions" for Anne, and she's like, "That's pizzazz. That's it." Mm -hmm. You know, because I had Whoa. known Anne prior, you know, I had, you know, but I, as she mentioned, I was known actually for like a beautiful voice, more, of, you know, although I sang rock and I did all that, I wasn't known for this. <laughs> like, like, I would not, not. So this was like, I was like a character that I created for my punk rock band. And so she ended up realizing that was, a, that was like a great sound for pizzazz. So oh. she played it for, the the Joe Bacall who was the crea creative director of uh, uh, Griff Griffin Bacall and Sunbow, and I think she mentioned she either either she, I don't know how she did it whether she told him before or after but she she played basically he said that's that's pizzazz that's it that's the sound and then she either told him before or after the well that's ellen bernfeld and she said ellen bernfeld she has this beautiful voice i didn't know what she could do so that was it so basically they based the sound of the whole sound on my like, don't ask questions so i never got the record deal but i got pizzazz <laughs> I yeah. yeah, I can yeah. longer last it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Much yeah. better. My song blossomed into this wonderful cartoon <laughs> character is what happened. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I have, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this question is for Ruth and Sophie. Uh, forgive me if you've already addressed this, but <laughs> have you watched the series from like start to finish? What's your favorite episode? How do you connect with the cartoon? <laughs> when your part has been with the toy line and the comic? Um, yeah, I've seen all the, the whole thing. Um, you know, I have the set or whatever. Um, God, what is my favorite episode? <laughs> uh, I really like the one where Minx tries to be good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, what else? Um, yeah, because, like, like, I don't know, you know, it's fun seeing Minx try to be good, but she's terrible at being nice yeah. <laughs> and there's also the stuff at the beach which i like um oh, yeah. God. 
know. I'm sure, like, uh, I'm sure I'll think of like all these ones I like like as soon as I leave. Um, oh, I like the I like the deserted island, what, like the Jungle Island. One. Yeah. That was something I wanted to do in the comic. I was like, I want to do a Jungle Island issue, but it didn't work out. Um, but yeah, I've seen I've seen the whole thing. You know, like. Uh, I kind of I tried to watch them all as like for like research for the comic, um, and you know sometimes I would just watch them with friends and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I had definitely seen the whole thing. Very cool. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> it's much more pertinent for what she does <laughs> to write comics than for what I do. It's much more pertinent for her. This is a, this is a betrayal. <laughs> it's age related. We still love you. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. <laughs> I hardly even watch any TV. I can't sit still long enough to watch it. I would rather be painting. I'm always working with my hands. Rarely do I sit, sit still to watch, you know, even even going to a movie. My it's husband wants to. Yeah, yeah. And my husband will want to go to a movie, but then I have to go and sit there. And watch it. It's hard for me to do that. I'm always working with my hands, or I'm always, but even reading. I don't like to read anymore. I read a lot as a kid, but I don't read now. I hate it. I hate, you know, so I'm, it's just, that's just who I am. I have a question for Ruth. Yes. Because I've been mulling in my head about the posters, and your part was predominantly the back of the poster, correct? Correct. Okay. So I remember that there was the Misfits poster that had no printing on the back, and there were some versions of the original Gem poster that had no printing on the back. And then later we got the ones that had the printing on the back with the marketing and then the glittering gold. I, I'm just trying to get in my head time timeline-wise if that was because the Misfits and Holograms with the no printing were released before other items, or was there some other timeline sequence that could have accounted for why that was? Oh, that's a tough question. I think um, um, that's a really tough question. Timeline-wise, I think they were pumping out ideas rather quickly, and as it went along, throwing those cross sell posters in there, you know, the one side is like, you know, like what we see here, the one side is printed and you have that illustration, the back side is the cross-sell. What I believe is they probably realize the cross-sell is what sells the next product. Yeah. So if they don't print the back side of the illustration, they're saving money on that four-color print. Well, it's probably five or six-color printing. So I suspect that's part of it. As far as the timeline goes, I, I don't know that I, I could say exactly other than they put brought these things out in a relatively short amount of time. When you think of the amount of product that's out there and the amount of years that they were really only on the market, um, it's, a, it's a huge expense. I, I, I don't think it was within more than two years. Does, does that, did I answer it? Yeah, I, I guess I'm wondering if, like, maybe they had a first wave of the holograms of the misfits with the no bag, and then they realized and put it with subsequent product? It's possible. I would be more inclined to think that they started with the cross sell poster first. You know, the, of course, the, the printed poster would be a selling feature because, you know, the kids get the doll, they hang the poster on the wall. And then it probably was an economy thing when they went to just the cross sell so that you see what's going to be next on the market. Everything, from what I experienced there, and I wasn't there that long, everything they did ended up being. It was always about a bottom line dollar value, everything. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like it, sometimes they take the the art quality out of the equation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, mean, yeah. I think I love the illustrations that Sharon Natal did. I love the illustrations from Judy Nelson. I saw some of the illustrations of the other the other inside guys that were like salary, they weren't freelancing doing some of the sea ponies and that sort of thing. And I think the illustrations are beautiful, and I think it loses something when you just have the photography in the package, and that's just my opinion, but maybe it's because I love the art to begin yeah. with. You know, it, it doesn't do the same thing for me at all when I see photos on a box. The photo is on the box, the product is inside. Why put the photo on? The right. illustration animates it. it right. You know, the makes magic you think. Is gone. Yeah. 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 
But as you said, <laughs> bottom line. Isn't yeah. that the truth? And they do bad things for that too. Yeah. Sure. yeah. You know what else what else I like? I like the the episode <laughs> 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 I like the episode where Kimber and Stormer form their own band. Yes. Yes. And I like the episode with the ski lodge. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. This is this question's for Ellen. Was it hard to get the music for This Is Farewell knowing that was gonna be the last song that oh. you recorded? Oh. Yeah, I mean I think we yeah, I think th that's like a I remember that session. Oh. That was um because we all did that, we did it together, mm. which was, well, I don't think, Brito, yeah, I remember Gordon was there. Yeah, we were all there, I think, oh, as I remember. Wow. We did it, we did it, so, so I think so. But, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we were, it was too, we were sad that the show was going to end because mm. we thought it was a great show. Yes. And it was fun to work on. Yes. We didn't watch it during, on Saturday, because, you know, I, it wasn't like, because, as you said, eight, yeah, eight, yeah. you know, it was like, oh, I gotta watch Jam on yeah, Saturday. Right. You know, I mean, we didn't realize that it was actually well, going to become like. They even say a lot well, of celebrities like, don't watch their movies that they produce. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. Watch their but movies. we had so much fun doing it, and then it was like, oh, the doll's too big; it doesn't fit on the shelf. <laughs> uh, uh, right. You know, they have to put Jam like on its side. And, you know, so it's like, it, you know, uh, or and you know, who knows what? But that was disappointing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for Ruth. Do you have uh, any memories of when the line was canceled? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Do you have any memory of uh, if you were still working on Gem when the line, the toy line was canceled? When the total line was canceled, it was canceled after I left there in mid '87. It was still going on then, so it had to be after I left there. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, that, yeah. that I do remember. Did you work? At, I missed your thing. Oh, yeah. So did you work at Hasbro? I did. You did, did. For, for about for, not real long, for about three and a half years. For like eighty, like eighty-four, eighty-four, five, five, six, seven. So you were there for the the birth of Jim. You were kind I, of. I was, but I wasn't. I, like I said earlier, and I have to apologize for this, but I worked more, on more My Little Pony okay. than anything. They didn't hire me for My Little Pony, they hired me for Girls Toys, but as it turned out, they, I ended up doing more My Little Pony, and whenever something else came along, they gave it to me. So I did some jam and some okay. real baby, but the pony was the most that I, you know, I was most involved with. So I didn't always pay attention to exactly what was going on with all the lines. You, you, you couldn't, there was right. too much, you just had to concentrate on the work that you had right you know so right. I wasn't paying close attention attention to it I do remember before I left how many toys which seemed to be so wonderful they thought they were gonna go through oh they killed them I mean you heard really? that oh across the board for right. everything it wasn't just ponies or jam or it was the, there was a moon baby type of thing what were they moon 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 it just was one after the other mm -hmm. so what's going on but has something to do with the stock market, and I, my brain doesn't work that way. I don't even like talking about it, but you know, it was. It's the bottom line thing. Right. Were you yeah. in Rhode Island, or yes. were, you were yes. in Rhode Island? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Hey, Ellen. Yeah. You were talking that you were there in the final recording of Farewell. Yeah. And you were saying that Gordon was there. Yeah. So was, was is he on that, or maybe yeah, that's another? Well, he is. Yes. There was another male singer. Or was oh. he doing the other well, you know, male I don't, voice? Oh, no, I, I mean, you know, oh, I got to call. I have to talk to Andy. Yeah, let's call her up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know. Uh, wait a minute. Remember that her? one time? <laughs> You're asking me who was the... Gordon was there. Oh, well, wait a minute. At, was it... No, not at. In, in the song, you know how now we just found out that I'm, and I'm okay. Yeah. We all thought that... Whoever was singing Kimber was doing also Stormer, but now she just clarified that somebody else was doing right. Stormer. Yes. But now we're wondering, was somebody else doing Rio? Because in the song, Rio sings, oh. and so is Riot. Yeah, Riot right. sang. Yeah. I don't know who did that. I think it's like a misanimation. It yeah, could probably. be. Like, I think it's just... Gordon singing for Ryan. It, it could be yeah. that. It could be that. Oh, it's okay. like the, uh, on the very end. I'm going to text. I'm going to text. She says the last farewell. She's like, what are you doing? It's actually Warren. I'll try to find out. Okay. So when you get to the bottom of it? Yeah, I'll try to get to the bottom of it. Okay, but she was Stormer and this is my well and this. It's like. The animators didn't know which was which. They just heard a solo and they just put animated story. And the question is. 
who was the singing voice of Rio yes. on yes. This That's Is Farewell? Line. Yes. yes. <laughs> Got it. I missed <laughs> Well, she's you know she sang you know she produced and 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 she may have done yeah I mean I don't yeah I mean possibly I don't you know she wasn't part of the holograms or so she'd come out and sing with us and teach us and you know sometimes she would do you know go on but you know she she just uh, I don't know if she was a character though like a specific character you know. <laughs> Did any of your inspiration for Timber and Stormer being lesbians come from the Jizz and the Mammograms videos from YouTube? Wow. Wow. What? Wow. 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 I thought everybody would have known it by now. Jizz. Can you? Can you it's a, it's a, and it's dubbed. It's dubbed over. Somebody dubbed over John episodes. Timber and Stormer are lesbians. Stormer doesn't say very much. Wait, so, wait, so what is it called? You have to check it. It's called Jizz in the Mammograms. Oh my god, you've never seen this? Uh, it's oh pretty my offensive. God. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't have my childhood. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. No. So, 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 Right? It's just like that's you know, like ever since I saw that episode, I was just like they should hook up, and they did. So, that was my inspiration. I don't know, and it's like you know I don't really need inspiration to have characters hook up. Right. I just like I want everybody to get together. You know? Woo! Uh, yes. Yeah, so Sophie, did you see the? Uh a clip they did with uh, the opening theme with uh, the design from the uh, comic book. Oh, no, I haven't. That sounds cool, though. It's, it's, yeah, it's, sort of, uh, it's the same length as, as the opening yeah. theme, but it was with the uh, characters from the comic book. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. No, I haven't seen that. Because, uh, I would like to oh, see that Lee was the uh, initiative. Who decided to do that? Wait, do what? To do this clip. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I've never seen it. So it's on the, uh, I Was it like an official thing? Yeah. yeah so oh, yeah. The IBW, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, somebody, somebody at the marketing department, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea. I've never seen it. It's, it's the same fashion as the opening credit of the series. Yeah. But it's with your design. That is cool. So wow. is it somebody like, find that. I want to watch is it. Is it like yeah. all like, like, do they move like the still images or? Yeah, yeah. yeah they move. Of the, the design are moving. Oh, like okay. The or the lips yeah. or something. Well, they definitely didn't consult me about it. <laughs> 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 I completely forgot, but I don't, I don't remember that. I don't know. I have a question for you, Sophie. Sure. I, I have no idea how animation is put together these days. I know it's not the cells of the old days, but if, is there any possibility that somebody like you might ever be approached with animation? And and or would you ever try and spearhead the opportunity to try and reanimate something? Like um, I think if I did, I would do storyboards. I don't because like I don't think I would would do the actual animation. I think that's like you know they you know they send a lot of that like you know to different studios or like a lot of animation is done in Korea and stuff like that. But like I think it's sorry, time what? consuming. Is yeah, like very yeah. late. Yeah. yeah. It's very like you gotta you know, draw like every I think I would blow my brains out after yes. a while. <laughs> yeah. But um I think if I was involved you know, like you know, if I was involved with a gem show or something, I think I would definitely wanna do some storyboards or something, which um, you know, like that that's like the core thing that happens and then they do the storyboards and they give them to the animators and then they kinda of fill in the I don't know. I've never worked in animation, but I, you know, I know some animators, and I think that's kind of how it works. Um, how, how do animators like kind of what's like the type of a person, like an animator, rather than the like 
you know, serious stuff, but Sorry, I'm not going to call you an illustrator, right? Are well, you, no, I know. Yeah, what, exactly. what, what, a cartoon, um, what, how, what do you call yourself? I don't know, like cartoonist. Usually. A cartoonist. Yeah. So the animator, how would you say you know animators? How? You, what's the big difference between the, the two? Yeah. Um, I, I feel like I feel like they complain a lot more than people. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, just you know, like people in comics, we're always oh. complaining about stuff too. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like animators, like whenever I talk to one of my friends who does that, they're always like, so they're always like, um, like the deadlines just sound so much worse than comics. Or they're like, oh yeah, like we animated half of this and then it got canceled. Mm -hmm. But it's like I've never drawn it's half of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, rampant across all. I, all I've never drawn creative half a comic and then it gets canceled. Like that sounds right. insane to me. Okay. But it seems like in you know animators they're just much more like, ah, you know, okay. kind of like yeah. frazzled all the time or something. Right. And I feel I feel like I would just go nuts and yeah. And that, well, they don't they do they work. On a computer all the time. Oh, and it's I don't like know. very. I kind of yeah. do what I do, but yeah, I, yeah, and it's yeah. kind of yeah. Like, you know, I, have, like I have one friend who he does all his animation. I don't know what program it is, but it's right. all it's all it's on the all computer. All on the computer. Yeah, and they right. have like you know they have it's not three D, but they have like the character model, mm -hmm. and then they like move it around and they <coughs> store it in different ways. Right. So I think like some animation is still drawn. I don't know if it's drawn on paper, but it's drawn on the computer. Right, okay, but right. I think some just have these models that they manipulate right. to kind of save time. Right. Um, I don't know if that answers the question <laughs> at all, but yes, I would love to be a showrunner or something. I think that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get somebody else to do all the all the work. Yeah. <laughs> Korea. I know. Yeah. Or just you know, like well, I thought they animated Jim in like Korea or something. Did they? Or, I don't know. Didn't they? I thought they did that. Like, some some of them were done in Japan, but some episodes are different design and different look, and they're all supposed to be done in Korea. Right. The Japanese, I think, did a so better there job. Are, there are some yeah. differences. Yeah. I think the animation is more smooth, but the design is a little more rough. In Korea. In Korea. Yeah. Some, some episodes. So I thought, like, were some of those some of those eighty shows like and like done here in the states? Like, was it like Masters of the Universe animated like in house? Yes. It was. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. Like, I wasn't sure if they did stuff like that with Jim too. Well, I think they do it. Uh, they did with uh, Transformers and GI Joe as well. Yeah. And sometimes they split it up too. Like people will do like the keyframes, and then they'll send it over to somebody else to fill in everything, and then they'll send it back. I don't know. Oh, it sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> I have a question for the group. So we're obviously all starstruck having you guys here, having worked on something so near and dear to our hearts. Um, I'm just curious, um, have you guys ever been starstruck or met any celebrities in different fashions? And not literally fashions, oh, could yeah. be fashions. I, just <laughs> kind of, I, know. I met, I was, I was dressed in this, this like, I look like I dress sometimes. I kind of I, 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 I think I dress like a homeless person. <laughs> so I had one of my homeless looks uh, with a beret and this like old like parka parka. And I was in this. Uh, I think it was a. It was like a wine liquor store <laughs> in, in Rockland County. It was the winter time, and I came out. And it was Bill Murray. Okay, and so he looked at me. He like he liked my homeless look. He like was like, and I was like, and I had just written this song called Celebrity, and he was in it. I, it was like all these people. The salon, the song was like old now because they're all like, you know, and he was in it, and I I, I couldn't say a thing. I was like. <laughs> you know, I didn't say anything. Oh, oh, wow. I just, I was, yeah. That's funny. I'm trying to think. I think the only, I met, um, I met Leonard Nimoy once, but oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't feel like he was really approachable, so I didn't feel like, uh, like that. But I think, I think the only time I've ever really been like, just kind of like, uh, was when I met uh, Peter Laird, the co-creator of Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I had done some covers for uh, Turtles, and this was back before Nickelodeon owned the property and everything. And so I was like, you know, like I was at some con in New York, 
And I was just like, well, you know, I've done these covers. This is like the perfect in, right? Like I'm just gonna stroll up, <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna know who I am because I did work for him. <laughs> and so I stroll up, and I'm just like, yeah, you know, I you know I did this cover, blah 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 for you. And he had no idea what I was talking about because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he, and, you know, this was like, like I don't know if you guys follow Turtles or whatever, but like this was kind of right before. Nickelodeon bought the property, so Peter Laird had like checked out, you know, yeah. and he had no idea what his publishing company was publishing, and like after my in was shot, like I was just like, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I said, I think I think I said something like, yeah, I really like the turtles, and then I just took off. I don't know. Oh no. Um, uh, oh, uh, Nemo is in Star Trek. Yeah, I know that. Oh, oh, say, oh, is that, I, that I this is a dare, this is different, different story. Yeah, dare, different 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 okay, I'm sorry, I have my uh, list no, of stuff out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that, that's the only time. And like, I don't, I try not to approach people I like anymore because of that. You know, because like, I don't know. Uh, oh, this is too horrible. It's actually so dramatic. <laughs> well, I don't know. As for me. I don't know about being starstruck, I wouldn't say that, but I have met several celebrities when I lived in the Southwest. A lot of them used to kiss. My husband and I had a shop for a while. We did like custom souvenirs and things, so we do our design our own products. We had several celebrities come in our shop. They always act very cool. As long as people don't bug them, they're fine. But yeah. we, we had Tom Selleck, and Demi Moore, oh. Rick Ocasek, um, which unfortunately he's oh. just gone. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, Terry Lewis. A lot of oh people, my God! A lot of people wow. were in the town because it was a kind of town where they got ignored. You know, if they came into town, everybody was aloof and didn't uh, fawn all over them. You know what I'm saying? So, and sometimes they did movies there, like uh, because of the climate. It's, they touted it as being the best climate on earth, and it might very well be. This town is called Bisbee, and it's south, uh, south of Tombstone. It's about six miles from Mexico. So what 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 state in Arizona? Arizona. Yeah. So I don't know. I would just be rattling off names of people that I met, but uh, I've seen lots of people. George Hamilton, the Bridges, one of the Bridges boys. I forget what. Bo Bridges. Um, my favorite was still Tom Selleck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that man is as handsome, mm -hmm. more handsome in like you know in oh, person. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. So now that you said that, I saw. I was visiting my father in, in the hospital, Columbia Presbyterian, and the elevator opens, and Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown were oh, there. Oh, so, because oh. her mother was there, Sissy Houston. Oh. So, Bobby Brown wasn't really anything. He was short, and he wasn't. <laughs> but Whitney Houston yeah. was much more beautiful in person. Oh, yeah. wow. oh just gorgeous and then 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 you know I mean she's beautiful on yeah. on camera and on film but even in person she was more beautiful mm -hmm. which is which is you know it can't be captured it, yeah it's hard yeah, to exactly yeah. they didn't have 4K where other people yeah. like you see them in person you're like yeah yeah so mm -hmm. I Tom Selleck <laughs> Johnny Depp, we saw Johnny Whoa. Depp. Nicholas Cage was absolutely Whoa. crazy. He he almost I tripped coming Nicholas down the steps. He was in the hotel next door. I'm just telling stories now. But anyway, <laughs> my husband was walking across at the bottom of the steps, and Nicholas Cage tripped. And my husband almost had to catch him. And the guy caught himself. But just dumb little things like that would always yeah. happen in this town. That's <laughs> yeah. That is neat. Wow. Yeah. What's the name of the town again? Bisbee. Yes. Yeah. We called it, what did we call it? We had a, we all had a nickname. When I lived there, everybody was like the same age and they call it the world's largest open air asylum. <laughs> <laughs> that was his fond nickname. Bisbee. You know? Bisbee, yeah. Well, any other final questions? How do you feel, uh, especially being in, in, on the Turtles, and I'm a turtle fan too, um, with so many, the constant reboots for, for the series, uh, how do you feel about that? Um, like Jim in particular, or just anything? No, no, uh, I, I guess in this, Jim just had what, two? Yeah, not But I'm, I'm talking more on Turtles, Transformer, um, I don't know about the franchise.
franchise gets like every two years gets a reboot or, or um, like completely starts over. What do you, what do you think about franchises that like the, the company feels like they need to have a reboot, and every time they put out something that almost feels like it's they're trying to alienate themselves from the original story or the, even the art or something is completely different from the original stuff since you started from the original black and white comics. Yeah. That's, also, why it started from, and, and you know, and then they did the nine, the eighty nine nineties cartoon, and that was like pooky and funny and all that. So I thought for me it was like the children's version of the turtles, almost like the opposite from it. But it was, um, it was their own thing. So yeah, I, uh, I don't, I don't mind it. I feel like, like every yeah, there's been like you know, so many versions of the you know the turtles, for example. And I haven't I haven't seen or read like all of them, and I think that's fine. And you know, like there's there's a, a new cartoon out, and it's like really, you know, it's like really cartoony and like really silly, I guess. And you know, it's for little kids, and I, you know, I'm not I'm not the target audience, and that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. Um, and I don't yeah, you know, like I don't care when they like change stuff really, because um, I feel like. I feel like every time there's like a new version or whatever, like even the gem movie, you know, it's like, like the gem movie was some little kid's first gem thing yeah, right. somewhere, yeah. right. you know, yep. and like, yeah, the world, like, ah, oh, the movie, it stinks, right. whatever, but like maybe that little kid was just like, oh, gem, oh, you know, they, they love the movie, and then maybe... You know that might lead them to the show or the comic or whatever. Or maybe it doesn't. And that's fine too. Yeah. You know, like they can just be like, yeah, you know, I only like the movie, or what? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel I feel like every like every like iteration, no matter how terrible, terrible, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be somebody's first thing. You know, I think you know, I think that's fine. And you know, sometimes they put out like, um, you know, like there was that. Uh, like the live action Turtles movie that came out in like 2014 or whatever it was. And it was pretty like, the, the, the sequel was actually really good. But anyway, but like the 2014 one, it was pretty like, kind of like soundly rejected by, you know, like the fandom, the public were just like, ew, the Turtles are so disgusting. Mm -hmm. And like nobody liked it or whatever. But like every so often mm -hmm. I'll be online or whatever and I will see like younger fans drawing those turtles, Aww. like you know, like that's their turtles. Yeah. These these ugly, yeah. greasy, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And that's like that's fine. I think that's great. Um, you know, I hope there's a billion other you know reboots of turtles and gem and stuff. And I don't know. You know, it gives people jobs too. Like you know. It, like, I don't know what I'd be doing if I didn't have all that turtles and gem money, you know? Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so yeah, it, it, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. And I feel like, you know, like I love the old Turtles comics, but like those will always be there. Yeah. You know, they're in my apartment. And I can, I can read them whenever I want. You know, the gem, I can watch gem whenever I want. And it's not, it doesn't, it's not retroactively ruined or changed. Or right. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Like, so many people are like, uh, like, like so, so, so recently in the Turtles comic, we introduced a fifth female turtle, right? And like, you know, there's all these, all these guys coming out of the woodwork who are like, just like, uh, you ruined Ninja Turtles like forever. Introduced <laughs> Yeah, because there's a girl, you know, and it's just like, like even okay, let's just pretend. There was that, a girl back in the Venus. Yes, oh. yeah, Venus, but this is a different character. <laughs> but like, like, let's just pretend that this character, this girl turtle, somehow did ruin Ninja Turtles, right? Like somehow on this like cosmic level, it's ruined, <laughs> it's ruined, right? But it's like all this stuff that we've already done and had is still there. Like all that stuff is still good. Like even if 
gem became terrible. Like we can still yeah, like, like the movie. Some people hated the movie. Right. And it didn't really. The, the series yeah. is still there, and and, and some people just said it was their first experience. In movie. Yeah, and like you know, say there's never another gem thing ever. Don't say that. Let's just pretend. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter because look, like yeah. we're all still here at Gem Con. Yeah. Like there's no active gem thing right now. And it's like, look, okay, you're here, you're, you know, I got out of bed. I love it. Oh. It's so important. You're welcome. Yeah. I just think, like, really, I just think it doesn't, it just doesn't really matter that much, you know, and like, I don't know. It's like, you know, it's, you know, we got bigger fish to fry, yeah. so there's stuff we got to do. I think there's certain fans that are like, so in love with the idea of what their gem was, and they can't deviate ever so slightly for that. And the reality is, in order to, like, Davide posted about this recently, like, you need to sort of refresh, even just in, like, general packaging and, like, brands that aren't yeah. entertainment related. You have to go through brand refreshes to keep things relevant and with the times. And it's always going to be too conservative or too left, depending on, you know, it's subjective. Yeah, you yeah, to, you can't, yeah, you can't, can't please everyone. You can't please right? everyone. And with, with, like, a lot of these franchises, like, you know, Turtles, especially, or, like, Batman or something, it's like, you know, if you don't like the current thing, you just wait, like, six years and there's going to be another one. Because yeah. they're going to reboot it again. And like maybe you'll like that one. Maybe that will be the best one. Yeah. You know, and I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's just, just not so much. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's a good rebooting is good. Rebooting is good, and I I feel like you know, just like there's so much like like hand wringing about you know this stuff. Like when I uh, when we first came out with the comic, you know, and I feel like I feel like gem fans are like a little more sensitive than like turtles fans because <laughs> turtles fans are used to garbage because <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you know there's been so many turtles shows and oh, movies that are terrible right you know it's there so you know there was like the turtles like concert tour it's like we've been at the, at the bottom <laughs> so we're you know we're used to it but like gem it's like we were never at the bottom yeah. right right yeah. gem was like right so i like, never right it's like we didn't have the thick skin that like all the other <laughs> Fans have. So like I think when we came up with the gem comic, there were all these fans that like they didn't know how to handle it because they're like so new to them. Right? They're like, oh my god, like like Storm is like fat now. Oh, like, oh my god. You know, they're like they can't handle it, and they, they just have yeah, like you were saying, they just have like this this vision. And since there's never really been another vision of gem up to that point. Now there's this other vision that's supposed to be official, and they hate it. Mm -hmm. So like, what are the, what, like, what are they gonna do? Yeah. And they just, I don't know, they just like lose their minds or something. <laughs> and uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but yes, they should. It's me. They have to go to Bisbee. They have to go to Bisbee. Johnny Depp and other horrible people. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> question. Um, and it's a thank you for coming and thank you for diving deep into your memories, Ruth, and your resources, Ellen, and Sophie, for, like you said, progressing us into a whole other layer of gem. And thank you for blessing us with your presence. And hopefully, you guys will welcome tonight. And thank you for sticking around with this impromptu. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.